on the launch of the new loan product comes a day after members of parliament failed to release the 230 to raise rather the 233 two thirds majority vote required to overthrow the president's memorandum asking parliament to repeal the law capping interest rates on loans so banks now have the liberty to price their loans based on the assessment of risk here are the details the House was sharply divided on the proposal to scrap commercial lending rate caps. Some members felt banks would abuse the privilege since the interest rate was now at their discretion. In 2016, banks charged up to 26% interest rate on loans. The capping had brought it down to no more than 4% above the central bank rate. Shut all doors. When the bars were drawn, the speaker sought to find out whether there was quorum to initiate a vote on the memorandum by President Uhuru Kenyatta. However, only 161 members of parliament were present, 72 short. The net effect on the motion is that the eyes have it and the motion is carried. His pronouncement angering members of parliament. That is a constitution. That is a constitution. You can go and check. So bankers have vowed to regulate themselves and not revert to the obscene and unfavorable rates they had charged in the past. There are concerns that it's all lip service. We're going to work with the finance committee to push uh, that uh, we, remove, we reduce the central bank rate to 5%. Any CBR above 5% is suspicious and unacceptable. We are going to put pressure on central bank to reduce the, the CRR. The, the cash reserve ratio from current 6% to 2%. Banks initially declined to lend to individuals due to the fear of security and the allure of government borrowing, which seemed more attractive as it appeared to be a more stable borrower. And now unless Parliament sets a ceiling for the interest rate, the cost of doing business may go up. It's evident that uh, interest rates are too high. Um, and therefore it constrains the ability of whether it's small people to actually borrow money and use those for productive enterprise. If the banks are going to behave the way they were behaving in 2013 years uh, and behind, we are going to sit back, uh, to sit down again, and we are going to know how we are going to reintroduce the caps again, and even other measures that may protect Wajiko. Members of parliament, angered by the fact that they were unable to shoot down the president's memorandum, walked out disrupting house activities, a sitting that usually ends at 6.30 p.m., ending two hours earlier. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.